Hey everyone, Robert Roy here with Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com, uh, which is going to be for October 27, 2021. Now the market just closed not long ago. Let's go check out the S&P 500, keeping in mind that everything that we do today is for educational purposes only. Nothing is meant to be advice or recommendations. All right, let's rock. So S&P 500, what did it do? All-time high. All-time closing high. We ran up to the 4,600. We closed right at the fib line at the negative 382. What a great day. Look at the trading range today. Literally between two key support and resistance levels, one each, right? On this chart is where we were. We're in a bullish bias. Our moving averages are spreading apart. Man, things are rocking to the upside right now. All right. So our candidate today is Coinbase. C-O-I-N. Let's go take a look at Coin. First thing we need to do, define the fibs and let you see exactly why we've got them drawn the way we do. We've got a great V bottom right in here. Good, strong V top and a nice pullback. We had a nice breakout to the upside. We pushed a little bit higher today and we failed. We even came back to the zero line. Now for some, they would take that trade as it bounced off the zero line today. For me, I would really want to see it get close near it and then bounce at least and it could be close break above pull back and close near it and then the next day bounce right you could do it from an intraday standpoint but it's just a matter of your risk profile and how much you're willing to take on so what we're looking at is this if we can actually get a, a bounce tomorrow right so what would I like to see ideally I'd love to see us come back down to the blue line which is our zero line which is the 317 level 317.18 to be exact and give me a bounce if that can happen you're going to go ahead and take an order the way that we lay the trade out is you take two contracts well rob what if i can't take two what if i can only take one contract that's okay you just do the one there's nothing wrong with that all right the the reason i do two is the way we set our exits up that's why we do two egg two contracts but here's what we're going to do let me do the scrunch key yeah perfect perfect so if you take the order on the bounce off of support, target one, T1, is going to be 328 and a half. You're going to sell one half of the trade there. You will put a stop for the full contract. Let's say it was two contracts you had. You pull the stop, put the stop for the entire order down at 312. Right now, 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 if we're filled at half of that exit, meaning we get out of one of our two contracts or five out of 10, whatever you're doing, you're going to move your stop up to just above break even, wherever that was. You got in at 319, you get you put your stop at 320, 321, somewhere above the price you got in. And then your target number two, where you're going to sell the second half of your order, is right up here at that $341, right? And that's it, right? Don't get crazy with it. Don't second guess it. Don't practice it paper traded first of course but there you have it make it a profitable day stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader keep crushing it and remember remember you're just one trade away take care folks i will see you all at our next update bye for now folks thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the training now if you did be sure to give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here and hit the bell to keep up with all the latest trading content and oh did you know that we have a podcast supercharge your trading education with the stock market millionaire which you can find in the description down below and while you're there you can also find other amazing free trading resources that i put together just for you